Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Elite Dangerous. In today's episode I would like to do something with the engineers. I don't really care what, at the moment I'm trying to unlock the last engineer I have access to. So if we check out engineers right there, I have three engineers at the moment and this one here isn't unlocked yet. 367 light years away. What she wants is an initial contract by providing three units of soon till relics. And she also mentions that it is in a Cheronovsky city in the Nguri system. And that's actually where we are at the moment. So checking out the commodity market, I fitted a small cargo bay on my ship to be able to do it. Soon till relics. There we go. We want three pieces. Just making sure, three units, perfect, I think we are ready to go again. Maybe let's fuel up. And now we want to target this engineer system. Elvira Martuk, there we go, plot a route please. That is 375 freaking light years away. However, we're gonna make good time and profit with our exploration ship. As soon as we are out of here, we're gonna hop from system to system, just do a discovery scan, I think you get at least 500 per planet. I think the money adds up quite nicely, even if you just do a discovery scan. Oh, we're getting interdicted already. Jeez, okay. This might actually be a little bit annoying. <laughs> I was just checking the system map if we find a couple of nice planets, but I guess as long as we are holding cargo, that's not really a good idea. So in this case, we're gonna make this quick and painless. Let's say on average we can jump 32 light years. That would be only 10 jumps, right? Let's do this. Alrighty, we've made quite the journey. Hopefully I can break soon enough. Uh, looking good, looking good. Pretty dull planet it looks like. I would like to find a planet with tons of mountains for once. That's what I'm talking about, the engineer's base. We found it. Let's request docking. Oh, they put us all the way over there. We're not important enough. There we go. Oh, be careful! What are you doing, man? Maybe this is a planet with a higher gravity. This was crazy. Anyways, engineer's workshop. That's where we want to go. And we want to... Oh, no, not go back. We want to donate. Yes, three pieces. Good, all right. Now we have engines and shields. Grade one unlocked. The thing is, I most likely have to bring every ship that I want to engineer to this person, right? Oh, I thought that wasn't unlocked yet. The FSD, of course. That's also going to be important. What can you do with that? I mean, frameshift drive is definitely something we want to upgrade. We just need grid resistors. We can also sell some of our data here. I mean, another 500k, that's not the worst thing that could happen to us. Well, let's find out where we can find grid resistors, maybe. Looks like we find these grid resistors from ships and also unknown signal sources. So maybe if we... Uh, I don't know if that works here, actually. No, we probably have to take off the planet. But I got what I wanted from the planet. I came here to unlock the engineer. Gonna quickly take off this planet. Then we're gonna check our contacts list where we should be able to find unknown signal sources. Or maybe even in the full spectrum scanner. All right, then we're gonna do one of those and then one of those. Great, let's find the signal source. Yeah, actually one of those. Uh, how long is this gonna last? 14 minutes. Wait, hold on. That's not what I wanted to target. There, that's what I wanted to target. Unidentified signal source. Yes, let's also supercruise there automatically. Okay, I get it. These sources are actually only unknown as long as I don't approach them. Maybe we're gonna approach something with a threat of zero, since this is not one of those ships. <laughs> no, wait. Uh, no, no. Okay, this is gonna disappear in five seconds. Please don't do this to me. We can make it there. No. That's my life. Okay, there's something 4,000 light years away. That's the perfect amount of time to make a coffee. We are here. Let's come to halt. Stop, 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 stop. Let's see what we have here in contacts. Compound shielding, sensors, manipulators, but not what we need, unfortunately. However, we can still practice picking something up. I've never done that. We can check left of the radar how to approach this material. Okay, we are slowly but surely approaching it. Now we just have to keep it right at the center. Don't go too quickly, otherwise I think you can destroy materials. But, oh, okay, okay, it's getting bigger there. And, come on, slowly cargo acquired. Nice. 
Well, that's good enough. Let's go to the next signal source in order to find the correct materials. Oh, yay. Another 5,000 light years. Yoohoo! Actually, this one seems to be much faster. We accelerated to 80 times the light speed, like in a crazy amount of time. The reason for this must be because we were nowhere near any planetary body or sun. But that's just a wild guess. And here we are. Let's hope for the best contacts. Come on. Mm, everything but what we need. Okay, okay. We're looking for grid resistors. I wish I knew how much everything was worth here. Maybe it is worth going here with my transporter ship. Packing up all the materials and then selling them. But not with this ship. We just want to get out of here and find the next signal source. I'm gonna be back once I found the correct material. Here we go. Took me like two more signal sources and we found our first grid resistor. So let's open up the cargo scoop and uh, go for it. All right, stop, stop, stop. Slow down, slow down. Don't, don't kill it, don't kill it. Okay, okay. Now let's just use the forward thrusters very carefully. Okay, come to Papa, come to Papa. Mm-hmm. Cool. Inventory, we got a... What? Ah, check this out. This actually goes into materials. I had no idea. Darn it, I'm such a noob. And then the encoded data goes here. Ah, this makes everything so much more interesting. So do we even need a cargo? Like, do we get a cargo scoop without a cargo to pick up these materials? I wonder if I can just randomly pick everything up. Let's test this out. Like, all these materials might come in handy. There we go, you come to me. Okay, manufactured mechanical scrap. I just manufactured a mechanical scrap. So I guess if we pick up these unimportant materials, we can make them into scrap. Yeah, there we go. I can just pick everything up here. Oh, I'm so glad I discovered that. Private data beacon. We, of course, also want to scan the beacon in order to do some more data acquisition. But geez, that's such a relief. And now I hate myself for leaving all these materials behind. New data encoded specialized legacy firmware. So this should now also pop up here in the data somewhere. Yeah, we got all these crazy things to unlock. I wonder what we get for it. I don't even know, man. Oh, well, one thing I do know. Let's get back to Elvira Martuk. I'll catch you in a second. Uh-oh. Uh, stop, stop. Uh, okay. Okay, now, second landing attempt. Let's see this again. Uh, I can't really confirm. I just know that the gravity on some planets is awful. But let's get back to the engineer's workshop and try to modify our FSD drive. Yes. A faster boot sequence? No, I don't really care about that. We want, of course, the range. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh no, I misread that. Okay, mm, I feel so stupid now. So I should have first checked which upgrade I want because for the increased FSD range, we need a typical disrupted wake something. And now that sucks for me. <laughs> Captures from high energy wakes with a wake scanner. Ah, oh, come on. So that is data they want, right? Well, okay, I guess we're gonna have to get a wake scanner and then uh, go to a nav beacon. I'll be right back. All right, sweet. I have arrived at a station where we can use a utility slot in order to fill with a pulse wave analyzer. No, 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 no. It was a wake scanner. That's what we wanted. We're gonna go for the best wake scanner. Scanner? No! Okay, now we don't have enough power. Uh, it's just the range that is better, so uh, let's just go with the one that we can actually afford power-wise. Or we upgrade our power, that is another possibility. Let's see, core internals. The power plant at the moment is only D-rated. What happens if we upgrade this to 4C, for instance? Oh, that doesn't even take away light years. Intriguing. No, ah, that's weird. It takes away light years. It's because of the color change. Okay, maybe blue isn't the best interface color. <laughs> it's mighty confusing. Wait, currently it's 39.86 light years and with 4A it's 39.73. I mean, it's not that much of a difference. That means in terms of wake scanners, we're gonna go with the best. There it is. Now, what else is useful? Let's think about that. Pulse wave analyzer, maybe. No, that was for mining. Okay, I don't need that. Manifest scanner. I'm not sure if that also scans ships that are destroyed. I guess not. Yeah, that's all we really need. And now we also know how we need to upgrade our power plant. 
we could go with a 4B and though no actually 4B does take away more light years than a 4A power plant. Naturally we need a fire group for this one. What is the composition scanner? I guess we could put that on two. No these things happen automatically I believe. The weak scanner was the most important part. Let's go ahead and launch. I'm trying this threat 3 degraded emission. I just want to know what is a threat 3? What does that mean? Okay, we have an actual ship here. Canisters of stuff. Okay, okay. Fabrics, leather. Huh, but the ship doesn't seem to be listed. Who are you? I don't think I can even target them. Let's give them a gentle nudge and see if they are awake. Hello? Hello? No, nothing. Well, in this case, I'm gonna do just a little bit of looting. Maybe for things like this, collector limpets wouldn't be the worst of ideas. Ah, I get it. Okay, this counts as stolen. Oh no, I'm probably won it now. <laughs> but now I can try to jettison this. But I guess that's a learning curve for you. Everything within a canister seems to go into the cargo hold, maybe. So let's check out the next signal source. Beacon would be nice. I found a nav beacon. Ah, oh, this is gonna be perfect. Just what we need. We have arrived at the nav beacon. We're gonna deploy hard points and search for these wake thingamajobs. They gotta be around here somewhere. Okay, I guess we weren't so lucky here. I mean, I've seen them at every beacon up to this point. Are you flying into the sun? Guys. So I'm getting slightly better at uh, picking up materials. You can actually be quite generous with your speed. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Uh, never mind, my internet just dropped. I'm gonna be back once I found such a beacon. Okay, we are back and I actually figured out how that stuff works. As you can see, we got 21 atypical disrupted wake echoes. The way we get those is with a navigation beacon, but we have to be patient and wait for ships to jump in and out of the scene. Once that has happened, we will find things like high energy FSD wakes. Those are the things we want to target and we want to make our way there. This guy just disappeared, so we have to wait for another one. They do pop up all over the place, so you don't have to wait for long. However, they are gonna be far apart from each other, so having the longest range with the scanner is definitely a must. We have to get close enough, like 4 kilometers with my scanner at the moment. The scanner can be engineered to have a longer range. But there we go, scanning, scanning, it does take a while and you get tons of various things. Right now on the top right you can see we got eccentric, hyperspace, trajectories, whatever all those things are. We got them stored on our ship in the form of data. So I take that. Now we can basically make our way back to Elvira Martuk and finally upgrade our frameshift drive. Whew. Okay, here we are. We are back. Engineers workshop. Yes, modify FSD, select. We want to go with increased range, that upgrade, generate modification. Well, let's go for it. Okay, optimize mass. What does that, what did we, get? what did we do? Ah, wait, I think we have to do it one more time. Okay, we can do that multiple times. Intriguing. And now we moved up to the second tier there, which requires chemical processors. Well, let's go ahead and do some more upgrading in this case, since I collected more materials and this is really the best ship to upgrade the FSD. There, we reached the next rank, rank 3 or grade 3, and that now requires minerals. Crap. <laughs> let's see how that increased our jump range, if at all. My ship right there, what's my jump range? Yeah, there, unladen, it's already 48.46 light years. It's much better than before, isn't it? We can easily check that. Let me see. Isolan Prospect. If we plot a route over there and check that out on the galaxy map. It is an enormous journey and looks like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 jumps for 355 light years. That is insane. I love it. Well, I would say with that out of the way, we're gonna wrap up today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>